guys, so I'm headed to Atlanta. didn't like about the flight was I was in the middle and the armrest was kind of giving like a shared vibe I feel like they should have put a separate armrest for the person that sits in the middle and when I was taking my jacket off it kind of felt like I was gonna hit the people sitting next to me so I didn't really like that because I was doing some contortionist shit in the seat trying to just take my jacket off but other than that the flight was good the seats you know had a decent space, like the seats itself had a good space. And it came with TVs on the um, back of the seat. So that way, if you wanted to watch a movie or I think play games, you could. And they even passed out headphones. They offered us snacks and drinks. And is there anything else about this flight? It came with a USB. Um, plug and a charging port so if you want to charge your phone you can I haven't seen that in a lot of other planes so I thought that was cool the temperature was nice it was cozy in there and it smelled nice in there too not really anything to complain about with Delta my bags now um I don't know why they're not coming out but my ride is here so it needs to start coming out sometime soon also I can't hear worth of shit I'm probably so loud but like when you get off of a plane you've been on a plane before you know that um like your ears kind of feel clogged so I'm waiting for that to wear off so I can probably stop yelling at the top of my lungs The red one might be mine. I got my cousin's suitcase. I'm gonna go ahead and return it to her because I don't want anything to do with her. Don't mind the trash, I'm about to give you a tour though. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! So over here, they have two paintings and I really like them because the bottom one is like um, daytime and the top one is like nighttime and there's something about it that is like unlocking a part of my brain, I love that. So then we have a little couch 
and this is my suitcase i just dropped off my cousin's raggedy ass suitcase so you know now she's completely and officially cut off forever for life that's my purse it's a little dresser i like this it's um i don't know it reminds me of one of those like chinese um like blocking things like a wall i hope i'm not being racist these are you know the two beds or whatever cute i got me a tv Then we have giant mirror. I have some bleach here because I was, you know, had to clean the bathtub. It comes with some complimentary stuff, but I usually don't use that, you know. Then I have another trash can here. Over here is a closet, iron board, iron, all that good job. Then that's the bathroom. I also have a desk area. Um, I have some cake because tomorrow is my friend's birthday, so I was gonna celebrate with him. And I have some other stuff that I got from the store. Some more, you know, little paintings and stuff. And oh, I just got in here and I already like made this room a little mess. I'm gonna straighten up, but this is a microwave sink. Um, fridge, coffee maker, all that good jazz. I didn't show you guys my outfit today. This is a fashion channel. I'm gonna show you my outfit. So this was my airport fit. I have this black pimp coat. Cause you know I'm big pimping. I like it because it has like these vertical like corduroy-ish style. It's not corduroy, but I don't know how to explain the indents in the coat, but that's pretty much what's going on have on a cashmere shirt, you know, a short sleeve. I have black flared leggings. This yellow purse, it's really cute. And my off-white sneakers. And you know, my little bob. It's about that time. Vlogging, um, for YouTube. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta flip it, honey. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> like this? <laughs> you know what I feel like? Right. You go to the comments, so For a fucking grand. Bitch me. Look at this wig. So it comes in this bag. Um, I guess it's kind of cool because neon colors are cool. Um, this is her. She's 13 by 6 HD frontal wig. 24 inches. 180% density. She's 6'13", she's supposed to be straight, but the lady had the wig braided up because it was the last one, so I bought it. It was braided before um, 
she sold it to me, so I don't know if she's straight again now. This is my first, this is not even a 360 wig. This is a full lace wig. This is my first full lace wig ever. Never had a full lace wig, so this is gonna be so cool. And she comes already pre-plugged. Like when she was sitting on the mannequin head, I was like, why do you look so good already? Look at this, pre-plugged. Bomb wig, because I was tired of looking like Tabinia. And I asked you guys for wig recommendations, but y'all wasn't really giving me nothing that I wanted to try out. So I did my own research and I found Hair Fetish Atlanta. This is the hair, feels nice, feels good. If this hair is good, I will be coming to them again. I think it is because the people that were in there, their hair looked fucking bomb. Like my hair, the one I'm wearing right now, it looks a fucking mess to me. Um, but this lace goes all the way around. It's on the inside, everything. I'm thinking about sewing a material similar to what they have in the middle for, you know, on the whole thing so that I don't have to wear a wig cap. Cause that's one thing that I love about hair BB wigs is they make it where you don't have to wear a wig cap. And that's the only reason I kept getting hair BB. But, um, I prefer this HD lace. Like HD lace is the best lace. Usually I pay about a grand for my um, wigs because like first I buy a wig and then I, I have hair added to it because I like my wigs really full. And then by the time that I have that installed and pay for the hair, it adds up to a grand because I like it long and I also like 613 hair. I usually only wear 613 hair. But this wig is like full lace and I feel like that's really good because I would think that it was going to be more because the wigs that I get are usually just lace fronts. Actually, they're always just lace fronts. They're not even 360. So I was shocked when it was only a grand. I'm like, that's it? I mean, it's not a problem. Like, thank you. But like, okay. <laughs> so I got my hair now. So I'm ready to go to the club and turn up like... <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go to the club and turn up. Um, I'm gonna show you the outfit real quick. So actually I kind of like it like that. Um, I'm wearing some Prada sunnies, um, this gold ring with like a little bit of colored gems in it, and then I'm mixing gold and silver because I got on a silver bracelet, got on a gold little, can't explain it, but you know, gold necklace, a pink turtleneck, I'm wearing some black pants that look like, you know, they have thongs on the outside, but it's attached to the pants. I'm wearing my off-white sneakers again. I'm also wearing an anklet underneath my pants. No one will probably see that, but that's just for me personally. I got my black Gucci bag. Got my black Gucci bag on. Wearing my Burberry Brit for her. And that's pretty much the fit. Waiting on my man's. It's his birthday. It's his birthday. It's his birthday. I'm also going with no makeup today. Um, I feel like my skin needs a break, so I'm not even doing my blonde brows. I usually don't go out without my brown, my blonde brows. Like blonde wig equals blonde brows. Um, but I'm gonna just chill today. And then my um, lips. I'm wearing some Fenty gloss balm. I love it because you don't have to keep reapplying it 5,000 times. Lips looking very moisturized. Um, yeah. And then I'm gonna do this hoodie off to this, you know, off shoulder like this. If I get a little bit chilly, that's how I'm gonna swag it out. And it has a hood and everything. I love this hoodie. I have a black one too. This one's bigger, but they're cozy as fuck. Like, look at me. You trying to tell me I'm not cozy right now? Like, Koi LeRae would definitely tell me that I look fucking cozy. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me.
look at his ride. The crackhead is giving us a grand performance. We're at the Waffle House because when we got to the club, it closed. But this, this crackhead, he just um keeps begging people for money. So they made him sing for the money, but I only caught the last half of it. It was so funny. He was like howling like a um wolf. He was like, ooh. <laughs> he was howling like a wolf. And I don't know if they gave him his three dollars, but um, earlier he told us all he needed was three dollars, and every person that comes, even when he gets his three dollars, he needs three more dollars. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to Wayne! Happy birthday to you! So the night wasn't successful because we weren't able to get into any clubs because we got there too late. But we went to Waffle House and that was a little bit fun. I slept in the car while it rained and that was nice. I'm about to eat my food so I can go to bed. So I got some grits with cheese in it. And then I got eggs and bacon. So I'm gonna put those into the grits. And I'm gonna have my um, waffles and toast on the side of that. I'm gonna put a little bit at a time though because they definitely feel the grits to the top. They don't play in Atlanta with their food. I'm guessing. I'm seeing why I'm acting like I don't know. I just see it here. a bird I want to fly away I don't know where my home is I don't know where my home is guys I'm about to put this wig on never put on a 360 wig I think I might have it installed I might just um cut a little bit of the lace off and wear it in a middle part and have the rest cut by someone professionally so I don't ruin this wig because this wig is a grand and I don't have time for that. Probably, I mean obviously I'll have to cut off pretty much everything around the thigh. So I cut the lace on my um, wig. I did it off camera so I could, you know, see what I'm doing better. And I'm just gonna wear my wig basically like this for tonight. But we ran into some problems. So I realized that I don't have my makeup brushes. I don't know if I left them at home or what's going on, but I can't find them by any means necessary. I put on some concealer on my face, then I realized I didn't have my brushes. So I just blended it out with my finger. I don't think I want to try the full face um, 
of makeup challenge with my fingers just because I'm going, you know, to celebrate someone's birthday and I don't really want to embarrass them. So I'm kind of like, fuck. So the birthday boy is going to pick me up some brushes, thank God, because I did not want to go in the club looking fucking crazy. And then he invited um, his other friends and I'm just like, ah. Uh. I was able to do eyeshadow, like a glittery shadow. Doesn't really look that great because I don't have any brushes, but when I do get one, I'm gonna, you know, blend out the top part. This is his birthday present. Happy birthday! Okay guys, I got my makeup brushes, so I'm gonna do my makeup in the car. Thank God for Wayne, because I was gonna be looking fucking dusty. our first successful night of partying because yesterday was failed but today we're on time so that's good and this is what my makeup is looking like i did it in the car i think i did pretty good for doing it in the car It was a really short trip, but it was still fun. It's a pony. Oh my gosh. I think I should put a horn on his head and make him a unicorn. Do you want to be my unicorn? He said yes. <laughs> 